left. Stop following me. Watchers caught. It left, not right. Right don't sound right. But hey, signs never lie. Right it is. seal. No, the mole would know I'd opened it, and she might not be very happy about that. Our agreement may be forfeit. While my veil is active, they cannot recognize me. Not unless I want them to, or I act carelessly. Where have you been? Always angry, but a good man to have by your side in a dangerous Where situation. Where have you been? At a national front meeting, identifying your turncoat. Uh, it takes a traitor to find a traitor. Think you can point him out for us? I can. Go on then, before we lose him. From far away as a deer. His skin appears red and blistered. I have seven sturdy cheeses. Go down with You're a lot bigger than them. Keep me in mind next time. Crispy bitterly, wrapped in a crunchy yeast bag. Heavy and wet. You look like this. Tell your friends. He smells faintly of camphor. Mercury's foremost sandwich are here, ready to perform sandwiching to your exact. My table's always open, day and night. His breathing is heavy and wet. So I tied you over for 14. Midnight snack, early breakfast. He smells faintly of camphor. Tell your friends! The pine forests of the north. Maybe lavender oil. He 
smells faintly of camphor. Maybe then. Or the fine he smells of tobacco. Yeah, I'm me. not familiar with this It's probably sure you don't want a nice lump of pickled cows, kidney. It's the perfect late night munch. His skin appears red and blistered. Perhaps he's I've got eats from across the Northlands, sun. from far away as a deer. He smells of tobacco. I'm not for his breathing is heavy and wet. Mercurius foremost sandwicher here, ready to perform sandwiching to your exact orders. My table's on the shadows night. out of nowhere. You shouldn't be out here so late. They frown on that sort of thing. Sandwiches! He smells faintly of camphor, or the pine for his breathing is heavy and wet. He smells faintly I've of got camphor, from across the Northlands. or the pine forests of away as a deer. Maybe lavender. You people, where are you taking me? You got the wrong man. Midnight snack, early. you over before tea. Midnight snack. Early breakfast. Medicines your body needs. Fully authorized and licensed. No sorcery. Exotic oils, foreign herbs, soothing cells, ointments. He keeps an eye on me at all times. The mole's well protected. The Azadi return to get proverbial back scratched. The mole. You lied to me, mole. Just like Azadi lied to my people. Just like they say, come out, little one. You will not be harmed before they slaughter them all. That boy did no harm to your people. Banda children did not harm your people. If she has something on her mind, one death cannot compensate for another. This is true, Azadi. Retribution may be counterproductive, but your people must also be made to suffer for their crime. They need to see the consequence of their action. They need to feel pain. And that man, that boy, he was in wrong place at wrong time. He's safer this way. He cannot run back and tell on us, or on you. You talk about making my people suffer, but my people know nothing of what has transpired here in the Northlands. You can't lay this at the feet of all Azadi. How do I make them see? How do I make them understand our loss? The Banda Banta are no more because of Azadi. I can gnash teeth and sharpen claw for many moon. It will not change truth. Your people will never mourn mine. But if I take life, make mother suffer the loss of child, 
Make friend a miss friend, husband a miss wife. Maybe then someone will think of mine. Maybe then someone will remember our loss. I'm not sure that's how it works. Perhaps not, Kian of the Azadi. But one can always hope. I may not honour that part of the arrangement, but I will honour most important part. Your resistance will get weapon. All the weapon I have to give. I still need some for my men. Sharpest sword, swiftest axe, strongest bow. But the rest go to your people. Not your people, Azadi. Your people rebel movement, otherwise would be silly. Of course. Thank you. My men will be in touch with your women, and also men. Leave now, Azadi. It's dark and late. And I will sleep. Sleep and dream of happier day in Burrow to the north, where laughter of children fill every tunnel. Dream of friends and of family, while I mourn them all. She's a magical, and she obviously harbors no love for my people. I should continue. I must leave. Good. Moon moving. Night only has so many hours. about the magic. If you're a ghost, just leave me be. According to the labeling on this crate, it contains flintlock parts. It's a sturdy rope, probably soaked through with brine. It's a sturdy rope, probably soaked through with brine. He probably won't stray from his route. What are you doing here? Flintlock parts for the muskets. Flint pieces for the flintlock muskets. The construction of the tube network appears to be picking up pace. There are wagon loads of metal pipes everywhere, and the laborers work into the night. This must be the shipment Liko spoke of. The crates and barrels are all marked with the Azadi seal.
That should be enough black powder to ignite the barrels and blow the whole shipment to pieces. The flint can make no spark hey, without steel. Steel nails. Imported from Western Azadir, I reckon. Nail. Fresh from the steel mills. This might be of use to me. Brine-soaked hemp won't burn easily. <laughs> Leviathan oil. They hunt the great beasts for this, the ropes soaked through with oil. It should work as a burning fuse now. Labeling on this crate, it contains flintlock parts. That must be the publican. Ulvik, I think. What's his name the was. matter? She says. What's the Ulvik matter? Ulvik doesn't have the most sophisticated. At least they're not a raw Look, I don't see this a man with a bloody spear behind them in check. wearing a zardy boots and a helmet. What can I get you, my good man? I have little faith in the quality of the water in this place, but I can at least hold a cup and pretend I'm not here to drink. Got it? A glass of iced wine, please. Iced. Wine. Wine and ice. Are, are you trying to draw attention to yourself? Here's your merry minstrel. Your friend. She's upstairs. Friend? Yes, your friend. She's been waiting. You don't want to keep a woman waiting for too long. Mostly laborers and dock workers in this bar. I should be it's getting the home. Cover for the resistance. Just one more, one more for the road. A bit of Dolmari courage to help me get started, and then I'll head home. She must be this friend Ulvik was referring to. She does appear to be waiting for someone. 
Ah, oh, finally. There you are. Sit. Smile. We're old friends, remember? I don't remember that at all. Who are you? I'll tell you who I'm not. I'm not with the Resistance, and I'm not a Zadi. If you're not with the Resistance and you're not a Zadi, who are you working for? I'm working for me, and I can either make your life easier or a lot worse. This must be a mistake. The publican was clearly confused. This woman is not looking for me. She claims to be my friend, and then she threatens me. Not the best way to... Who in Shadow's name it... I have no patience for threats. Threats? Who's talking about threats? I'm just trying to get your attention. You're a popular man, Kinavane. Apostle. Everyone wants a piece of you. I hear there's even a bounty on your head. I'm afraid you've left me at a disadvantage. I'll even the battlefield. I have as many names as I have friends. And enemies. Some call me Anna. What do you want from me, Anna? I like the emphasis. You're a clever boy. I want your assistance, but not right now. You're meeting someone. I'd hate to get in the way. How did you... I just you... wanted a chance to introduce myself, and now I have. So it's time to leave. Let me up sometime. You can find me at this table most evenings. If not, Olvik can pass a message. Big man behind the bar. Wears an apron with a cock, a rooster, and a kitten on it. Can't miss him. Be seeing you, friend. Wait. How did you see through my veil? What? You shouldn't be able to recognize me on sight. Unless you know me intimately. I don't know what you're talking about. Be seeing you, Alvane. The witch and the vicar had six shots of liquor and presently went for a walk. Come on, who was said that? the clergy. A man what? has his who? urges, Where? but the witch only that wanted woman. to talk. Who was she? A mystery woman, huh? I don't know. I'm not a guy. I don't go looking at every woman who passes by. Liko? Uh-huh. Did you see a mystery woman? No. God, you need to get out more. Is this place safe for the two of you? What? Oh, you mean this. The face. The fur. This is a safe place. But a Zadi drink here. Ulvik keeps it all under control. Also, magicals are still allowed passage in the city as long as they have valid passes and carry no weapons. Visibly. You have passes? Sure do. But We it's... shouldn't push our luck. It's time to go. Yeah, that. Come on, Kian. You passed Liko's test. You're okay. We'll head back to HQ. Test? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, um, Liko? I told you I would not trust you. And now you do? No. I merely distrust you a little less. But you did well. I won't kill you. Yet. That's him being real friendly, you know. Hugs? No? Yeah, me neither. Okay, we really need to go. Come on. Some nights I wish I'd stayed on the Kandar's task and never returned. Things were simpler out there on the great ocean. You only had to worry about the wind and the weather. So what did your mystery woman look like? She had long auburn hair and light freckled skin. She dressed like a ranger. Of course she did. Your type, huh? I don't really have a, a type. Really? 
Guy like you, I thought you'd be super choosy. I'm not. A... God, I've... I've not had much time for for women in my life. Leaping leapers? Are you joking? How old are you? Look at you, you're gorgeous. But how did that come out of my mouth? Leaping leapers? Nope, just nope. You do like women though, right? Shadow, take me. Not that there's anything wrong with, you know. In fact, I could have That's quite you up enough, with... I know. I don't know. This just happens. It's a sickness. I open my mouth and. Blah! It's really disturbing. So late. Drinking. Dancing. Just drinking. Next time, go drinking inside the room. Not your kind in our bars. <clears throat> no, uh, you're absolutely right. You really, really don't. Goodbye. Dancing. Right then and there, it felt like an appropriate answer. Tell me again about this test. I expected you to run straight to your mistresses, Alvani. It may be of some use to us. For a while. I will still kill you. Nothing you can do will ever repay your debt to my family and people. Cheerful. Death? Never you mind, Zidling. This is between the Apostle and myself. Zidling? Really? Really? You know I'm not actually a Zidling, right, Glumbum? I'm of age, and I've already been with several that men. That thing again, Zidling. <laughs> Thanks. Where is everyone? In bed, I guess. It is late. He's right. It's never this empty. Something's wrong. We should hurry. of them there are. Good catch, Kian. That was a good catch, wasn't it, Liko? He survived. It was acceptable. Uh, he's totally warming up to you. Thank the gods of old, our boat is still here. Ladies first. That means you guys. You guys were the ladies. It was a joke. Fine. I'll go first. I laughed. On the inside. You would have exploded. I don't think your body can handle laughter, Liko. I'm glad you're all back safely. How did it go? Kian was awesome. He even saved our lives. I would have caught the arrow. Yeah, I know, but Kian did, and it was awesome! Any news of the Informer? Alvani did. We brought him here for questioning. Was that wise? He knows our location now. That won't be a problem for long. Maybe not for you, Liko, but it is a problem for me. We don't just execute our prisoners once we're done with them. How did the rest of your mission go? Alvani followed our instructions. He completed his task to our satisfaction. The end result was adequate. Hey, whoa. Don't get all mushy on us now, Liko. I'm glad to see that the three of you can work together. While you were away, we received some news. Bob, who can see? Right you are, ma'am. As most of you know, the first of the six has been due to arrive in Mercuria for weeks now. 
Well, she's arrived. Their cloud ship docked with the tower not an hour ago. And she ain't alone. But first is the Azadi's highest authority. Of course she won't travel alone. Aye, there's that, but I'm not talking about bodyguards or handmaidens or the like. No. She's got some real interesting company. One General Hami, alongside a Mother Utana. What did you say? Hami, General, Utana, Mother. Do you know them? I do. They're with the first of the six. So word has it. How do you know this? Do you have eyes inside the tower? Not inside, no. On the ground, here and there, close enough. Some tell secrets for money, or to protect their own secrets. Some are sympathetic to the Magicals. And some are unhappy with Saya and her lapdog Vamon. They run the city still. Word is, they're intimate. A sister and a soldier? That's a capital crime. Well, that. With Saya ruling the church, and Vamon, the state here in Mercuria, there's not much anyone can do. If anyone can, it will be General Hami and Mother Utana. You know them well, then? You knew. You knew they were coming. And you knew my history with them. That's why you freed me from... Naane! Finally. What news from Miria? Liko, Shepard. The rebuilding progresses and... Alvani. You are... on your feet again. The traitor! She betrayed the Resistance to save herself, and now she's come back. Don't they know who she is and what she's done? I must tell them before she flees. The traitor! What's that witch doing here? They must not know who she is and what she's done. If I tell them now she's dead, This witch betrayed you all. She is responsible for the attack on the Swamp City. And for April Ryan's death. What? What are you talking about? I arrested her last year. She betrayed you to save her own skin. She gave me the location of the Swamp City, and she lured April there. It is because of this witch that April Ryan died. You're lying, Azadi. He is not. Forgive me, Liko. Liko, stop! Please, put your knife down. Do not harm her. Kian should be the one to kill her. He turned her, and he turned on her. Let him prove his allegiance now. Go on, Alvani. Do what you do best. Must do what he asks. I need his trust and confidence. The future of the Resistance depends on it. She betrayed her friends and allies. She deserves death. But I can't kill her. And I can't let him kill her. Even though that will shame him in front of the others. She betrayed her allies. But she had her reasons. I forced her into it. And she deserves my help now. Besides, she betrayed her friends and allies. She deserves death. But it won't. I must do what he asks. I need his trust and confidence. The future of the Resistance depends on it. This will prove my loyalty. And she's nothing but a treacherous wit. I can't. She doesn't deserve the blade. She did it out of desperation. She thought she was doing the right thing. You're as treacherous as she is. To think I was starting to trust you, Azadi. Well, if you're not going to kill her, then take her away. I don't want to see her. I won't be able to stay my blade. <coughs> I'm sorry, Liko. Put her in a cell. I will speak with her later. And Liko, you will not harm her. We need her. 
As for you, Kian, you did the right thing, the honorable thing. Although I fear you may have made even more of an enemy of Liko. He lost face tonight. He won't soon forget that. You should all get some sleep. It's been a long day. We will reconvene after breakfast tomorrow. You knew they were coming. The General and the Mother. That's why you sent Captain Bakim to Friar's Keep. That's why you freed me. Kian. Liko was right. You're using me. All those words about being a symbol, about being important to the Resistance. Does the one exclude the other? You are a symbol. You are a warrior. 